Physically, they are as good as new. Yay! Physically, though. All you need to do is re-enchant them, and they'll be better than they were before. Yay. You'll find them on the armor stand over there, so please go ahead and try them on now. I hope they serve you well for years to come. And if they ever need repair, just place them back on the stand and I'll look after them for you. Okay. Farewell, Sir Knight. Dicky, they don't have carry weight now. That's good. This doesn't have one that I would like. Let's just absorb this. I'm really gonna help. Oh, that might help a little bit. All right, so we need to head towards over here to where start of our lead or whatever it is. We'll fast travel back to Vindassel and we will walk all the way over there. This will be where we conjure the armor, but I want to see if we can do it without doing that. Oops. Yeah, I should probably put a close thing there. But we are going to need to access that spell anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this guy probably just copied the the cells, I think, for this area, or road space, or whatever, for this. I don't think either this guy would literally just do it, hand do it again, and go, yes, this this shrub needs to be exactly here for it. That's literally what I would do. I'd just copy the world space and do it. But still, it's, it's really well done, the fact that he got rid of the bridges, because they wouldn't have been made right now. They would have been made in the future. You know, still putting a little bit of the time travel... Thing about Jiggy, like in the past, there would be no bridges because you know there would be no reason for bridges right now. So it's like cool. I would love to explore like dungeons and all that kind of stuff in here, but I find that there is no real reason for it because it doesn't really matter too too much. Don't tell me I actually have to go over there because I probably know where the entrance is that area right there. Yeah, this is literally it. I mean, it wants me to go over here, but we already found the entrance. I mean, I'll follow the quest marker. But I don't like it because it literally just made me lose the entrance. I'll probably never remember it. I've already forgotten about it. No, I'm kidding. Alright, where is it? Where are you, buddy? Come on. Really? You didn't have like a quest mark specifically if you already came from the west area? Oh, that's so dumb. Come on. Come on. There's grass here. Thank you. It's my own private indicator to know that I can actually walk there. I mean, that's how I know. If I see grass there, I should be able to walk if I can find a way around it. Okay, it's not this waterfall. It's this one. Yeah. Shrine of the Eight. 
Now, Tess, I don't want you to break yes, my love. the quest for some reason. All right. I need you to stay here for a little bit. I might call you in there if silence... If I am not silenced. If I am, this might get a little bit challenging. This must be the Shrine of the Eight that Pelino was talking about. Perhaps I can commune with the gods to reconsecrate the Crusader's relics here. Hooray! I kind of get the feeling I'm being watched in here. There's a deer over there. Cool. Hello. Under the Eight, and do your duty. Pray at our altars to receive our blessings. Nice. Praying at the shrine invoked a blessing from the gods just like the shrines in Cyrodiil, but it did not have any effect on the crusader's relics. Perhaps placing the relics on the shrine would make my intentions clearer. Pray to the eight. Place all the relics. Take all the relics. Swap relics. Place all the relics. Alright, gods. I wish for you to do this. To be fair, Drathus doesn't really care about the gods, so I don't really think it would matter. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Pray to the eight. sound like a robot? Or is that just me? One of them sounds like a robot to me. Sounds like they literally just grabbed a generic robot voiceover and just did it. Uh, I know I have Umaril's sword in here. That's going to be very helpful. Uh, I'll grab a generic alien armor. <laughs> That'll help me out a little bit. Uh, you're actually supposed to use hand-to-hand, -hand, I think. Th the problem with that is that I don't think this is properly optimized for a level 1 player specifically. So, it's not properly optimized for a level 1 to be able to walk in here with zero hand to hand and actually use it it got rid of my stuff again oh thank god i have another umaril sword man don't do that don't take my sword away from me if you take my sword away from me again i will summon the armor and i won't count it because you're taking stuff away that you shouldn't even know that i have I have five armor pieces, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, attacking. I'm not attacking anymore. There you go. All right. Now that I have armor. Yeah, this wouldn't be too much of a challenge if we could use spells. All right. We have to face Sir Gareth. Umaril? Umaril the Unfeather. Alright, Umaril. What's my armor rating at? 20 with this armor. It's not that bad. Then again, every piece of armor has per a shield 2% on it. It's us. Our innermost fears is us. I'll separate your head from your shoulders. Am I supposed to be So here's how I'm gonna translate it. I think they're showing your innermost fears. So for a Gareth, I can't quite put my finger on it. I think it's that we fear what Gareth might do. Maybe? I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, for the fear of Umaril, it's the fear that Umaril will win against everything in the past 
instead of us. And for us, we fear that we are not enough to be able to do it. I think I might be wrong about Umaril and Gareth, but I know for us it makes sense. That we fear that we're not good enough to go and do all this kind of shenanigans, right? Yeah, try doing this in hand to hand, man. It's almost impossible. I need to store my weapon. I need to store this stuff so that it doesn't take it again. Now, does this mean it's going to give me back the ones that it stole? If not, I'll do, I'll use the duper because uh, now that I've restored the reserve, let's just return to clean this. Yeah, okay. Take all hearts. Thank you. You gave them back to me. Good, because you shouldn't have taken them in the first place. Anyway, ooh, wait, they're they're script enchantments now. Oops, I wanted. We're gonna use the Crusader's relics again. Look how shiny it is. We're only gonna use it to get all the way over there. Then we're gonna get rid of them because we have the Dark King's armor to use. Cash. Just store. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I remember what one of the scripts that I wanted to add. So, you know how when we use the armor, uh, specifically when we use the Dark King's armor, you know how each and every enemy has uh, that split second where they're not angry at us? Yes, my love. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if we can add the player character when they're wearing the armor to those factions But make them feel so disgusted that they don't even want us near them and that they're going to attack us on sight kind of thing And that's the plan Actually, you know what I feel like we should just use the Dark King's armor now because I don't really care right now you're happy. It's when I take it off that you're going to be really angry because you like the Dark King, apparently. Tess is evil. This is, this is proof. That's the proof. That's the only proof you need is that when Tess is happy, when we have the Dark King's armor. Hello. You're back. Queen Lacia and the others are waiting for you. They're about to hold a secret meeting. And you're part of it. Yay! Wait a minute. <laughs> What's the meeting about? They didn't say. But I think they're planning the fall of White Gold Tower. Just imagine. You'll be part of the most famous event in First Era history. Yay! Wait a minute. <laughs> you better go in before they get impatient. Don't worry. They will all die by my hand. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm here. Now that we are all here, let us begin. Unprecedented in history is the gathering of four heroes in one location. Four individuals blessed with the ability to alter their destiny. I've summoned you all here today for a mission of utmost importance. With each passing day, our armies liberate another part of Sirid, and the time has finally come for us to strike at the heart of Iliad power. As you are all aware, the Tower of White Gold is protected by a magical barrier that neither our armies nor our magic can penetrate. Our spies have revealed that this spirit barrier is powered by Daedric Furnaces, located in four uncaptured Iliad settlements. These are Wendir to our northwest, Elenglin to the west, Nenyond Twill south of us, and Kemen. Eastern Cyrods, last and captured settlement. Our best course of action is to destroy these Daedric Furnaces simultaneously and attack the Tower of White Gold before they can be repaired. All the furnaces must be destroyed. If any remain functional, the Spirit Barrier may remain intact, hindering our capture of the Iliad capital. As our army is preparing for the final assault on the Tower of White Gold, 
Dividing them amongst isolated targets would compromise our end goal. Therefore, the task of destroying these targets falls to the four of you. Pelinor Whitestrake, the Star Maid Knight, will be well known to you all. He will assault the most heavily guarded of the four targets, Kennen. Mori House, the first breath of man, also needs no introduction. He will destroy the Wendier Furnaces before returning here to lead the final assault. Also joining us here today is Ungird the Outlaw, son of Harold Hand Free, and hero of Skyrim. He will destroy the Furnaces at Elinglin. Finally, the task of assaulting Nenyond Twill falls to the Divine Crusader, Darking. time traveler from the Third Era, 4,000 years hence. You may believe it is coincidence, but with four missions and four heroes, I believe it to be the will of the gods. The fall of the Tower of White Gold is an event that we've dreamed of since the beginning of the Rebellion. Your successes today will ensure our victory. Go now, and may the Eight watch and guide you along the way. I like their map. They used a crystal ball for the barrier, and I think they're using weights as 